of the finest horses hereabouts, partner. Ah, I'd forgotten more about horse riding than most people will ever know, partner. And it's all about the rider, not the horse. Well, I see your ego's as big as your hat. Let me show you what else we got. Nope. Nope. Too pricey. Five bucks? Now we're talking. Oh, I don't know, Mr. Woodpecker. You see, uh, we just got Monty here from a royal hacienda down south. He ain't broke in for nothing but sitting around and looking pretty. Spoiled rotten, eh? You'd be lucky to get him out of the barn, much less on with the trail. I'll bet you five bucks that I'll not only get him going, but that I can beat you guys to the bottom of the canyon doing it. Your own, city slicker. Let's move them out. See you at the bottom, Woody. Not if I see you first. First rule of trail riding. A sleeping mule is not a riding mule. Wakey, wakey. with lazy, pampered mules in my neck of the woods. Now we're getting somewhere. thinks he's high society, does he? Well then, I'm gonna meet this mule on his own terms. Oh, I'm saved! Dear boy, I've lost my pedigree polo horse and the match begins in only minutes. Clearly a ride of your stature could substitute. <coughs> oh, good show! Now see here, my boy, what you must do is catch up with the polo ball wherever goes. <laughs> <laughs> right then, good show, old chum. Now let's continue our sojourn down the trail to the polo field. Huh? Well, what's the matter, old bean? You've never even been out on a trail before, have you? <laughs> Well, not to worry. Rule number four. When you got them where you want them, kill them with kindness. All a mule must do on the trail is place one hoof in front of the other and march. Left, right, left, right. Just like being back at the academy, eh, old bean? Got it? <gasps> Monty? <clears throat> Unacceptable. I ride you. March. There, there. Now you've got it. Now, this is a simple turn. I say, you're a natural. With my superior riding skills, I could turn you into a show-quality mule. Say... Ooh, no more lefts. Now turn right and don't let the coyotes bite. <laughs> See you over there hiding, you big coward! Now, what's it gonna take to turn you into a riding mule, you yellow-bellied, spoiled bag of scaredy bones? <coughs> Wait a minute. That's it. Riding rule number five. Treat a mule like a mule. But you gotta get him in a listening mood first. Unless you want this 
to be your last trail ride. I could just as easily leave you out here, you know. Now, let's ride before the avalanche gets us. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. You broke that mule good. Here you go, city slicker. You're five bucks for the mule ride. Five bucks? Uh, uh, are you serious? Oh, I I'm so worth more than five bucks. I I'm at least worth a hundred bucks now. Oh, if you had any sense, you'd hire him to teach all your rides, Tex. He's fabulous! And, and, and I'm fabulous now for him because I can cook and I can do things with wood. I can even, I can even mend it. Why, I lie for you. I cheat for you. Wash your garments a lot. Why should I have to do your dirty work? Because I'm a buzzard, which gives me the right to boss little boys like you around. That's why. Where do I sign up to beat the champ? Why, right here, my good sap. I, <laughs> I mean, sir. Of course, there is a nominal entrance fee of $5 that entitles you a chance to beat me, the champ. Hmm. Aw, oh, shoot. I seem to be a tad short. Do you suppose I might use my fine automobile as an entrance fee? Buddy, you got yourself a contest. <laughs> ha! Too bad. You left a 7-10 split. You'll never get that. <laughs> what? That's impossible! But not improbable. <laughs> Oh, look! The space shuttle! Where? I don't see the space shuttle. Huh? Say, what kind of an alley is this? That was a perfect shot! Perhaps you need corrective lenses. to see what I'm seeing. <laughs> I think there's some cheating going on. <laughs> what? <laughs> now that's a split. <laughs> Ooh, you're not doing so good. 
Chalk me down for another strike. Hey! <laughs> Champion. And that four-wheeled beauty out front is all mine! <laughs> Come on, Tweaky. You and me are off like 30 pounds on a grapefruit diet. Holy smokes! $5,000 reward. Larceny, robbery, unlawful toenail clips. Why that no good thief and cheat? Hello, operator, get me the police. That's right, officer, the Buzz Buzzard. He's here, at the bowling alley. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, huh, uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. But, but, officer, he's wanted for cussing. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, huh, uh-huh. For littering, for jaywalking, for bouncing checks, for petty larceny, fraud, for bank robbery. Yeah, well, that's really swell, pal, but we're pretty busy here with serious cases right now, and, uh... But, officer, he's parked in a red zone. What? <laughs> it's not how it looks. Step out of the vehicle, sir. <laughs> it's not my fault. I was just... Uh... Maybe I didn't make myself clear. I said, step out of the vehicle! You have the right to shut your big yap. If you waive your right to shut your big yap, it may be shut for you. So long. Thanks for the reward. See ya. Hate to be ya. <laughs>
can find some food. Yeah? Well, so do I, Owsy-wowsy. Okay, pal. You go that away, and I'll go this away. <laughs> Look what I found. So what? Look what I found. <laughs> you know, I think my friend tried to eat me. Mr. and Mrs. Hippo, we have the finest honeymoon package here at the Comfy Ordable Inn, you bet ya. Ooh! <laughs> uh, e. Special in-room massage service, complimentary everything, and commemorative photos will be taken of you and the blushing bride. Chauncey, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I do hope the rest of the honeymoon package is better than this. So sorry. Welcome to the Comfy Ordable Inn. Hey, buddy, why'd you let that big lummox walk all over you like that? The customer is always right, sir. How can I make things right for you? You can stop at the carpet sweeping and tell me how much for a room. Well, our one bedroom is modestly priced at $100 per night. A hundred bucks? <laughs> The Comfy Ordable Inn, Bolivar speaking. But, 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 but this inn shouldn't be sold to some big, big company. Oh, doinky, doinky. When the buyer comes tomorrow, he'll clean this place out for sure. And you bet that clean out includes firing me, yeah? Say, uh, Wally, 
If I can show you how to save your job, will you let me stay the night for free? Sure. My job is worth the price of one night's stay. What's your idea, Mr. Smarty Feathers? Ooh, I'm not so sure about this, Woodpecker. Trust me, it'll work like a charm. Welcome to the Comfy Ornable Inn, where we'll either treat you like a king or, hey, we won't. They have my traveling coat cleaned and pressed. Oh, and get my luggage. Is that fast enough for you? No, 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 no. You can't do that. Wally, will you stick to the plan? Boop. Yeah, now you're getting it. When the buyer shows up tomorrow, he won't be interested in this place, because all the guests checking out are going to be very, very unhappy with their stay. Go for it, Wally. Save your job. Hey, let me have the suit cleaned and pressed while you wait, okay? Yeah? Oops. Hey, I'm sorry. It shrunk. <laughs> this is the worst hotel I've ever stayed in. That's gonna be our new motto. Now show our guest to his room, Wally. Next <laughs> stop, room 225. <laughs> I think you're finally getting the hang of this, Wally old chum. Yeah? I am! I like this idea of being Ding Dong Bellhop's woodpecker. <laughs> Room 217, the honeymoon suite. Come on, woodpecker, we got work to do. It's about time you got here. We wish to complain about... <laughs> Complimentary honeymoon pictures. Woody, make up. Now this is service. <laughs> Ooh, Lukey. Time to recreate the crossing of the threshold. Yeah! Outside, Mrs. Hill. Oh. Hey, what's the big idea? Oopsie. Now you see here. Hey, sweet is cheese. Hey, Wally. Maybe you ought to lighten up a little, buddy. It looks like you could use some of our honeymoon special sarsaparilla. No, Wally, you're crossing way over the line here. <laughs> Woodpecker, they'll hate my service so good, yeah? They'll complain, and the buyer will never buy this place. You're a genius. <laughs> and you've gone full on bazooties, you big fruitcake. Now stop. <laughs> that does it, buddy. You're on your own. I'm going to bed. In my free room. It looks like my job here is done. Swedish massage service! Get me out! I didn't know that. Oh, I'm a star. Party service! <laughs> Smart service! <laughs> All the customers have been annoyed. <laughs> Except one. Yeah. Room service! Hmm. I didn't order room service. <laughs> Whoa! Wally! What are you doing? Uh, you'll have the bad service, so you'll complain tomorrow, too, yeah? <laughs> 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 Wally! Get a hold of yourself, man! <laughs> Wally Boris, at your service. Oh, what is the meaning of this? I, uh, I've never been... I'd never buy a place this poorly run in a million years. My deal is off. Ooh, Woodpecker! He did it! He did it! <laughs> well, looks like no more demanding customers will ever stay here again. That's right. We took care of them, yeah, you bet. Now go enjoy your room. Free of charge for as long as you like. Yeah, comfy, aren't
inevitable at last. <laughs> We go on the air in 15 minutes! Now go find me some wildlife for my wildlife show! Yes, Helga. Anything you say, Helga. <sighs> hmm. Someday the star will say Monty, host of Monty's Magical Wildlife Show. Not today. The pie's particularly good today. Hold on. You're a wildlife. <laughs> Nothing's wilder than a penguin. Penguins just love fishies, and this will be the perfect bait. Life is so gullible. Helga, Helga, I got me a penguin, and it's got a little hat. I like that. Let's shoot it. Money! Back in a flash. The gumbo's decidedly delish. Well, good thing I didn't recommend the sampler tray. Oops. Get the penguin. Forget the penguin. Let me make this easy for you, okay? Get me the polar bear! Offer him anything he wants. All the food he can eat. Just get him on the show! Or you're fired! I could host a better wildlife show than Hollywood Helga any day. Sorry, Penguin. Helga wants the polar bear. Mm. 
No can do, Penguin. The polar bear got the nod for Helga's show. You know, you are one persistent little penguin. I'd put you on my show, if I had one. That's right, you'd get a TV contract and all the food you could eat. Why, that's downright Machiavellian, Penguin. You'll go places in Hollywood, I can tell. Perfect. We're live in five, Marty. Marty! Do I have to do everything myself? <laughs> this is Helga's Wilderness Show. Today we'll meet a polar bear up close and personal. <laughs> Marty! So long, Helga. Hello, Monty's Wildlife Show. <laughs> Today, Monty's magical wilderness show will visit a very special penguin at home in his most comfortable setting. in one hour. My baby will have a bright red vest and big blue eyes. My baby will have a beautiful voice. Wait till you see the gaudy clothes my baby has. Mine will have a beautiful tail. Mine will, too. See my little baby. My what little baby. Little tail. Tail. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, 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 that's that's all that bragging. I wonder what they'd say if it all turned out different. If it didn't turn out as they expect. If the eggs were all mixed up. I got an idea.
Well, eh? A bit like an English sparrow. I say, this don't look a bit like an English sparrow. God blimey, it's a blooming mockingbird, it is.
birthday, not head and splinter. Yay! Black Forest cake with sawdust topping. Our favorite. I'll go get your present out of my car. You blow out the candle so the Wish Fairy can grant you your wish. <laughs> wish Fairy, right. This sure looks like the place. Let's wish for a pet dinosaur. Ugh. <gasps> Wait, where would we keep a dinosaur? Nah, let's think of something else. Hey, let's wish for laser eyes. <gasps> Hold it. Nah, we'd fry our Zachazobar comics just looking at them. Hey, what about... Nah. What about... Nope. Oh, I don't have time for this. <gasps> I'm Tweaky, your wish fairy. Here to make your birthday wish come true a lot. And I haven't got all day. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I got 4,997 frequent wisher points. I grant just three more wishes and I get a free trip to Bara Bara. So make it snappy. What's your wish? Um, er, we, I, I don't know, uh, we wish we could fly like you. Yeah, please make us fly. Make you fly. Got it. Yippity dippity. Wookily hoo. <laughs> Yeah, close enough. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Awesome. Oh, looks like a wall is making a wish with a dandelion. Duty calls. Here you go, kids. Uh, kids? Wow. Woohoo, our present. Hmm. Looks like they ate and took off. Hmm, all the better for me. I'm pooped. Let's see what Uncle Woody got us. <laughs> Uncle Woody, Uncle Woody, help Uncle us open our present. <laughs> hey, I'm napping here. Darn flies. <laughs> Officially lame. Yeah, I want a different wish. Hey, let's find Tweaky. He said he was going to see a walrus about a dandelion. He's gonna grant Wally a wish. <gasps> no, you two again? What? We want a different wish. Well, top cookies. There's one wish per birthday. And besides, I'm not backtracking when I now only need two wishes to get to Bora Bora. Scram! Ah! <laughs> 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 what are we gonna do, Splinter? Our next birthday is a year away. Tweaky's job is to grant all kinds of wishes. Hmm, <laughs> these dandelions are tricky by Yingo. <laughs> So, tonight, we wish on the first star we see. And he'll have to give us a new wish. Uh, till then, we, we gotta stop him from giving out his last two wishes. <laughs> no! Do I have to do everything myself? <laughs> Ooh. Hello? Congratulations, Mr. Walrus! Anything you could ever wish for could be yours. You've just won ten million dollars in the sweetest meatball squaring out sweet starts. I won a lot of money. All my wishes will come true. I'm going to buy a pony. I'm going to buy a pony. Yay, da, 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 da. Now, where did that walrus go? No, what now? Lady with a wishbone. Skip the walrus. Okay, I'm all over this one. <laughs> He's gonna go give Miss Meanie one of his last wishes. Oh, yeah. Wish this! <laughs> At last, I can wish for that new pair of orthopedic arch rival loafers. <laughs> Hey, what the? Whoa! Oh, be... Get back 
here. Ta-da! Lot! I'm Tweaky the Wish Fairy, here to grant you one wish. Provided, of course, you can break the wishbone. Huh? Oh, the turkeys! <laughs> wish fairies! <laughs> hey, wait a minute! Let's get out of here! Uh-oh. Take Ooh. that! Wait! Ow. <laughs> My very godmother told me there'd be days like this. There's the first star, Splinter! Now we get a new wish! A wish? You want a wish? I'll tell you a good wish! I wish I could start the whole day over! What's happening? Splinter, we're back in time. Oh, I, I'm right back where I started. Three more wishes to win my vacation. We want a birthday wish over again. We want to be wish fairies, just like you. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No way! If you want your trip to Bora Bora, make us wish fairies. No, oh, I'm such a sellout. <laughs> Now leave me alone! Sai, you gotta train up! Yeah, we got a new job! I gotta get a new job! There's nothing like a barbecuing neighbor. Say, Wally! <laughs> You stay away from me, Woodpecker. This is my barbecue. <laughs> Dial prank phone. It's the next best thing to eating there. Oh, fur. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Woodpecker, get out of my yard! Gee, Wally, I don't think your phone goes that far. <laughs> Let's do lunch again real soon, Wally. <laughs> are you annoyed by a woodpecker who constantly troubles you to your wit's end? Of course you are. And does he look like this? Yeah, you bet. That's the guy, all right. Right there. I thought so. Well, have you tried... The silent treatment? Well, I guess not. Apparently no not, Einstein. Many have tried and many have failed, but the new Dr. Doug Nuts technique really works. Yeah? Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, a skeptic, eh? Well, let's see the doctor illustrate the technique. So, Dr. Nuts, how's it going? I said, how's it going? Yeah. I'm not saying a word. <gasps> it really works. See? This too can be you for only 17 payments of $39.95. Hello, Nutco Inc.? Yeah, send over a silent treatment right away. <gasps> oh boy, silent treatment instructional audio. The silent treatment. Well, I wonder what's on the old agenda for today. I think I'll play golf today. Or... Darn flowers, how's a guy supposed to golf? Hmm, this tree's right in the way of my shot. Well, I'm not a woodpecker for nothing. <laughs> Don't forget rule number 17. 
Uh, I'm not saying a word. Atta boy! Ah! Wally's gonna be mad. Better not let on I was playing golf. Uh, gee, uh, what happened, Wally? I, I heard a big crash. Uh, <laughs> lucky the tree didn't fall on you. It's not that big a deal, right? <laughs> okay, okay, I admit it. It was me, Wally. But I'm good for it. Not now, but I'm good for it. Later. Oh, so it's the silent treatment, eh? Well, we'll just see about that, Buster. I'll break you, or I'm not fit to call myself a woodpecker. you down? Is it a problem with your neighbor? Is this walrus giving you the silent treatment? And does he look like this? It's him! I thought so. Then what you need is Dr. Doug Nutt's anti-silent treatment technique. Ah, oh, pshaw. Go peddle your papers. Oh, another wise guy, eh? Well, I'll just let the doctor illustrate the technique. Say hello, doctor. Oh, Dr. Nuts! <clears throat> knock, knock! Knock, knock! I said, knock, knock! Who's there? <gasps> I'm not saying a word. It works! That's right! For just 17 easy payments of $39.95, you'll get a reward winning book of 1,001 knock, knock jokes guaranteed to break anyone's silent treatment or even their will to live. Ah, fooey. Who needs a book? I got a thousand and two knock-knock jokes right here in the old bean. <sighs> Ain't it swell? I'm finally rid of the woodpecker. Oh, no, you're not. Hey, Wally, how's about a couple of words for your old buddy? Knock-knock. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> no vacancy, no vacancy. Fully! This is a fine how do you do. Where do they expect those floors to live anyway? My friend, in this little package is the answer to all your problems. Okay, wise guy. What's the answer? Now, as I was about to say, step a little closer, son. These priceless little beans have been gathered from the mystic shores of the Caribbean. Why, well, my boy, these are magic beans. Magic beans? These are not the ordinary type of cooking beans. I don't want any beans. I want a... Look, my friend, all you have to say are the magic words, abacadabra, presto, change all, hurry up. Well, what do you know? Okay, pal, slip me the beans. <laughs>
Ha <laughs> ha 